The Tutsi are people who live in Rwanda, Burundi and the northeastern part of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. They have much in common with the Twa and the Hutu. Their cultures are similar and they all speak the same language. It is called Kinyarwanda in Rwanda and Kirundi in Burundi. Their major religion is Christianity. The Tutsi established a feudal relationship with the Hutu, gaining dominance due to the possession of cattle and a more advanced knowledge of warfare. At the head of the Tutsi complex hierarchical political structure was the Nwami, or king, who was considered to be of divine origin. The agrarian Tutsi considered working with the whole and made their living by owning and dealing with cattle. Occasionally, an improvised Tutsi would be forced back to the land, but his clan, when necessary, would generally make arrangements for him to borrow cattle, the symbol of superior status so that he might not lose face. Tutsi families are patrilineal, that is, the family name is passed on by the males. The rites of passage are very simple. The naming ceremony takes place seven days after a child's birth. History has it that marriages were arranged for someone of the same social class. Today, Tutsi may choose the person they will marry. There is no ritual other than marriage to mark the beginning of adulthood. In the area of housing, the traditional Tutsi houses were huts of woods, reeds, and straw shaped like beehives. Around them were high hedges that served as fences. Traditionally, the Tutsi tribe dressed in robes. The women wore white robes and white headbands, while the men wore just white robes. In terms of food, the traditional Tutsi diet consists of milk water, beans, corn, peas, plantains, porridge, sweet potatoes, fruits, and meat. However, meat is only to be eaten for religious reasoning or ritual justification because cows are sacred in Rwanda. The Tutsi also do not eat goat or drink its milk because it is against your customs although some have been known to do it secretly. In Tutsi entertainment, the royal dancing and drumming groups performed for the amusement of the kings. For rituals, two dozen tall drums were placed around a central drum. The drummers moved around the drums in a circle. Each one took a turn beating the central drum. This style of drumming is still practiced till day. In fact, singing, dancing, and drumming are important aspects of rural life among the Tutsis.